So would you expect the allotropes of carbon, that's diamond, graphite, and C60 Buckminster Fullerene, to have the same enthalpy change of formation in standard conditions? Well, so don't forget, allotropes are different forms of the same element. That's the definition. And the definition of uh, enthalpy change of formation is uh, the enthalpy change when one mole of a substance is produced from its elements in their standard state at standard ambient temperature and pressure. So the standard state of carbon is graphite. So if I turn a graphite into graphite, essentially achieving nothing, the standard state into graphite it is the standard state, then it comes out at zero. There's no enthalpy change there. But looking at diamond and Buckminster fullerene, they are endothermic. So that means that when you turn graphite into diamond or Buckminster fullerene, more energy is needed to break the bonds than is released when you make the bonds. This is an endothermic reaction. So don't forget endothermic looks like that. And the products have higher energy. And if the products have higher energy, that must mean they're less stable. So something with lower energy down here is stable. And that would be the graphite. And the unstable ones have higher energy. So that means that uh, Buckminster fullerene and diamond are less stable. You need to add energy overall to make them. So why is that? What is it about these two molecules here that make them less stable than graphite? So the easier one to examine is the Buckminster fullerene. Now the carbon atoms, they have sp2 hybridization and they're wrapped up in that sphere shape. And this causes strain on the bonds. Now the bond angle is less than 120 degrees preferred by the sp2. And those bonded electrons are forced closer together and that's gonna need more substantial input of energy to put those electrons where they don't want to go to fight that repulsive uh, force there. Onto diamond, well, that's a little more subtle. The different number and type of bond, along with the different packing of the atoms, mean that diamonds requires just a tiny amount of energy overall if you're going to make it from graphite. And apparently, if you leave diamond long enough uh, and you heat it hot enough, it will rearrange itself into graphite again, which is the lower energy one. And we're done.